come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a movie review podcast where we sit around and talk about movies that we watched only moments ago here every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Hey, do us a favor in our quest for ultimate world domination. Why don't you go over to wherever you found us? Give it a, give us a like a star rating or a review. And all of that stuff helps us rise to the top of the algorithms and become the fastest growing movie review podcast in the galaxy. That's right. Can't prove us wrong. True. Do we ever just become the fastest growing podcast in the galaxy? Hmm. Like we do, do we overtake all other? I think that's genres next week. In this next week, yeah, we just the fastest growing there. podcast in the galaxy. Okay. That's I had, right. I, I had some. Sure. I had someone asking me not too long ago. He's like, "Yeah, the the guy on the show. He said you're the fastest growing. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> as far as you that's know, it is. Yeah. That's all we need. As long as you say it, that <laughs> yeah. means it's true. Yeah. That's all we need. <laughs> that's why we are the internet radio superstars. Holly, Michaela, Sean, and I'm Colin. That guy doesn't understand context <laughs> clues, does he? Well, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Did he stop listening right after we said that or something? I don't know. I stopped okay. talking to him. He d- he was probably a little starstruck, being like. Like, wait, I know someone who's oh my god, <laughs> who's on the fastest growing podcast in the galaxy. <laughs> For all we know, we are. If you don't yeah. pay attention, yeah, you could be. Um, I dare someone to take the time to prove <laughs> yeah, us well, wrong. Then they're going to be like, oh, well, we found the actual the list. But I would be flattered they spent like, that much time to prove us wrong. 2,525 from the top. Well, um, we need to get some advertising on this show then. <laughs> that's right. We probably should. Yeah. Uh, so we can turn this into a lucrative career. But right now, we're not asking you for anything. Just that you go over and give us that star rating, like, or uh, comment. Or review. Please do. Um, so, what we've been doing, we're drawing to a close. I know this is a very exciting time in the Saturday Night Freak Show. The whole month of January, we've been watching movies that have been chosen and voted on by you. That's right. We asked you what you wanted us to watch. You gave us a list of, I don't know, like 50 movies. There and a you lot. narrowed it down to the top four movies that got the most votes. Now we're on number three. <laughs> and the dollhouse just missed it. <laughs> um, that and Harold and Maude was that one of the other yeah, ones? Yeah, it, it was. Who knows? Listened? That could be number one. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. see. We don't know. Oh, it's an, only Colin. Only knows Colin knows. One is now. Um, uh, well, everybody else out there knows. You know already because you've been commenting on Igor's mail mailbag on our Facebook page. But uh, so tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by you, and what was it? Sleepaway Camp from the year. 1983. And I am, oh, who directed this? Richard Hiltzik. 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 And who we Robert, would know Robert from? Hiltzik. Return to Sleepaway yeah. Camp. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. He has like two IMDb that's credits. It. So, really he is, so he is almost on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we didn't do, we did Sleepaway Camp 2. Yeah. On the oh, show. he did like return six to? of these movies. Yeah, that's okay. the fourth. He did Return to. Fourth, so never mind. Yeah, there's a ton of these movies. Well, okay. it's, it's, it's a return to, okay. So there's, there's Sleepaway <laughs> Camp, right? And then there's, and then he lost the rights and then yes. somebody made sleepaway camp two unhappy campers then there was a sleepaway camp three teenage wasteland then <laughs> of course sean knows all the time <laughs> these are like from the 90s i think we did sleepaway camp two on yes. the show you can go back and listen to that episode but yeah. then i think at some point in here the the cult of sleepaway camp became like a, a thing because of the invention of this thing called the internet and specifically the website and possibly possibly geo cities possibly my throwing shit out there that okay geo cities <laughs> but there was a there's a website called like sleepaway camp movies right mm-hmm. and the guy who ran this website whose name is escaping me right now was such a mega fan of this uh series that he was able to track down all the people who were involved in sleepaway camp and got them thinking you know like oh my god there actually is a cult following for this movie uh-huh. and so they all got together and they made a return to sleepaway camp yes a troubled production from what i hear because yeah. it was filmed in like 2004 and it didn't come out until like 2008 mm-hmm. and then i think everybody hated it but it was richard 
Robert Hiltzik. 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 Richard Hiltzik came Robert back Hiltzik. to Robert Hiltzik. do it. <laughs> and I think it, it so memorable. It, it doesn't deserve to be memorable. <laughs> Did you see it? Uh, I've seen parts of it. I have not seen the whole Wait, thing. Sean is our sequel guy here. How many of the Sleepaway Camp movies have you watched? All of them. What? All of them? <laughs> Even the uh, the the re- the return to Sleepaway Camp, yeah. which would have been the fourth. Uh, third sequel, the fourth movie, which didn't get finished, but then did get finished, and that one—that's what we were just talking that's about. What yeah. Was well, saying. no, that's Return to Sleepaway Camp. Oh, we shit, have Return. I know what we have Sleepaway about. Camp: The Survivor, uh, okay, which is technically number four. Return to Sleepaway it's numbered, Camp: is the fifth it's the one. Numbered it's fucked fourth up. one, but it came out after I'm, Return to Sleepaway you lost Camp. Me. It got <laughs> yeah, well, it got I finished did. after Return to Sleepaway Camp because they started filming that way earlier, and they did about half the movie, and it's. It's not good, believe it or not. <laughs> um, That's shocking news. I know, right? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, it's hard to describe. It's, it's nobody related to any of the other ones. It's a different actress playing it. It's fucking weird. Hmm. Um, you could only get it for a long time in the... Uh, they came out with a... Uh, the Sleepaway Camp, um, there was a name for it. But survival it was, The Survival Kit, yes, okay, so yes, yes. So is it the return of Angela or no? Angela's in it. It's okay. a totally different actress sure. because uh, Pamela Springsteen played her in part two and part three. That's Bruce Springsteen's younger sister. sister. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. How the um, mighty have fallen, man. <laughs> um, but she didn't return for that one. That was She was only in those two. She was in two and three. Yes. Right. But she is like, she's the main force in those two movies. Yep. Um, and then they, then uh, Robert Hiltzik um, yes. got everyone back for all that for return Sleepaway Camp, and he brought back. He said that the, was like the official sequel, right? The weightlifting dude came back, uh, camp counselor from this movie. He was in it. Uh, Felissa Rose was in it, uh, and I. There may have been a few other people, but other than that, yeah, that was a uh, that was an interesting movie. <laughs> yeah, you said it was only available like the the unfinished movie was available on that set, and then they did actually the survi- finish it. I, the, and sur- put it out. the Survivor one, yeah, the okay. one that's a weird one. Yes, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I believe the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, Okay. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Well, this is like, uh, I mean, I'm actually surprised that it's taken us 300 some odd episodes to finally get around to doing Same. Sleepaway Camp, because it seems like it's one of those uh, pillars mm-hmm. of the horror, uh, you know. I, I think I'd always assumed it had already been covered well, see, before I, I came here. That's why I just assumed. Well, once we did two. We talked about one. Yeah, of course. And that's yeah. what you do when we, when we, or when I end up picking the sequel to whatever <laughs> franchise we're doing. We usually talk about the other ones. And so I kind of like laid that to rest a little bit. Then it always felt like, well, that's, it's Sleepaway Camp. Like, everyone knows that. We can't do that one. I mean, we can do that one, but it's just like, it's not on, it's not on like the top of the list of just like, you know, craziness or nobody's ever heard of this or just an undiscovered gem that we're looking for. It's just like, well, everybody knows Sleepaway Camp. So we'll just, you know, not go for that one right now. Does everybody just know Sleepaway Camp? For long. It feels like everybody knows I Sleepaway yeah, Camp. Like everybody here though. tonight has seen it. Yeah, even people that don't know, don't know they know it know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even if it's just such a part of the like cultural lexicon, you just kind of like through osmosis know what Sleepaway Camp is. Is you that know? at all bizarre to you? Yeah, okay, so my husband, I was like, oh, we should watch this movie, whatever. I'm like describing it to him. He's like, yeah, I've never seen that. And I was like, what? You've never seen it, so you don't know the like ending? Because I was like, that's what this movie's famous for. And he was like, no. And then we put it on, and like 10 minutes into it, he was like, oh, no, I have seen this, and it ends like this, right? And I was like, god damn it. I was looking forward to having the opportunity to like witness someone discovering it for the first time, and I was robbed of that. So I guess at this point, we should make a disclaimer, Yes, right? If you have somehow stumbled on this podcast, Mm -hmm. not having seen Sleepaway Camp, then Mm -hmm. we're about to ruin it for you. Uh, for the rest of you, yes. uh, uh, hey, well, this, seriously, if you have yeah. not seen it, turn it off right now. <laughs> right turn now. us off and go. It's really yeah, if important. You have any that interest you do that. in seeing this movie? Turn this off now. Yeah, and then go watch it. It's mandatory. It's not it can, well, yeah. that's that's the other. Yeah, it's kind of required reading. Like I said before, yeah. it's re- yeah. it's required viewing at this point. That's the other reason. Yeah. All right. Well, so Sleepaway Camp is a slasher movie. Yes. It came out at, uh, I think, probably at the the tail end, end toward, toward the end of the slasher boom, which we've covered. It started in 1980 with the with Friday the 13th and continued through 
you know, 1983, uh, which was when Sleepaway Camp was made. Right. This movie, I don't think a lot of people saw this in the theater. I think this was a regional yeah. movie that was pretty much like an East Coast kind of thing. And most of you saw it on video. It was either on VHS or everything that's come since. And uh, it built up a cult following over the years because of its ending, mm. <laughs> which is... Uh, We'll yeah. get there. Insane. Okay. All right. We're gonna get there. We'll Sean get there. says so. All right. We're gonna we're so gonna we're gonna blow the load up. Just right. in case you didn't take our uh, advice and and bail out, go yeah, watch. We'll give you a, come back. Um, we'll give you a chance. <clears throat> okay. So uh, the summer camp slasher movie, mm-hmm. right? Classic. I mean, I guess when you think of slasher movies, I do anyway. I think of summer camps. Like each slasher movie and summer camp go together in my head, like peanut yeah. butter and jelly, yeah. out in the woods, yeah. hanging Absolutely. out. Things with knives. But how many of those do you have? Uh, The Burning, Mad Men. Yeah. All the Friday the 13th, yeah. which yeah. is like, what, tw- 12 movies at this okay, point? There's a lot of those. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like I'm missing one. Obviously, so well, we can't. I mean, but... like, The Final Terror takes place in the woods, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Just Before Dawn, which I just saw this week. I'd never even heard of the fucking thing from 81. Mm-hmm. And it has the guy who owns the sleepaway camp. He's right. in it. And I was like, holy shit. It's the guy Shared from- universe. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Didn't work out so well in my other camp. But that was a- so now Sorry. I'm here to run this one. <laughs> that was a, Well, it wasn't a summer camp movie. It was a woods movie. Uh, so summer camp. Yeah. What do you have? You got the burning. Mm-hmm. Um, Mad Men. What did we just say? Yeah. Mad Men. Mm-hmm. All the that- Friday 13th. Just remember that guy fucking telling the story in Mad Men. That's mm-hmm. like the big uh, thing I what's remember. The crop scene? Oh, that was the burning. That's the burning. Mm-hmm. That's the burning. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> Are we saying there's uh, I'm sure not there's that people, many? Uh, Friday the 13th like cornered the market. I mean, it really did. Yeah. Once those got going, why even bother trying to compete with them? Because it's like, eh, you can't. Killer in the you Woods can't. movies. Right? You get mm-hmm. people isolated in a way. Every one of these movies does have a similar uh, plot structure, which usually begins... Or at some point, they show you a flashback to the inciting incident, Mm -hmm. right? We've established this. I don't know if this is... Did we come up with this term, the inciting incident? I've I've heard of it referred to as like inciting event or things like that. It's been called many things, I think. We we just stuck with inciting incident at this point. All right, so you have to have this in your slasher in order to have a a classic slasher movie, Mm -hmm. right? So what is it in this one? What is the scene that takes place before the movie that sets everything up? What do we got going on? A sailboat accident. It's a boating accident. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's With a water skier accident. too. I guess okay. it's more the water skier than anything, right? True. Okay, so what do we what do we have in this scene? What's going on there? We got a couple on a boat towing a water skier. Mm-hmm. Um they're just carefree having a great time. We've got John, John. on a sailboat with Jonathan. his two kids. He didn't say Jonathan. He just said John. 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 No. John. One of the great cutaways in the motion best cutaway. History. Yeah. The John's father, on the sailboat. Yeah. Father and two, two kids. kids. Yeah. Okay. That's what son we're and going daughter. With. Father and two kids. Yeah. Son and daughter. Okay. That's we important. assume this is Angela and Peter. Yes. The kids. Mm-hmm. Yes. Out by Camp Arawak, the very New York. Where was this shot? Do we know? It, uh, it was upstate New York. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. At a real summer camp mm-hmm. that the director went to when he was a kid, but mm-hmm. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, you can tell it's a real summer camp. <laughs> it's yeah. got that it's like cheap griminess. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cheap, yeah, that cheap, grimy uh-huh. nature. Do you like this or is this a yes. detriment? No, I do. No, I no, like no, it. No, it's it works. A plus. Yes. Because no, like. That's what it should be. A, 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 it's an authenticity like, to it. Movie set summer camp would be much cleaner and neater and like. Not as lived in. No, yeah, that's one. That's one of the things I really love about this movie is that it looks like a real camp, and mm-hmm. these kids are annoying as fuck. Like yeah. this seems like a real summer camp. Yeah, it looks well, like a bummer they're actual to kids go there. too. Yeah, like, they're actual kids. Yeah. Like this is it, it plays off because it feels like a real summer camp. That's one of those things people always point out about uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Six. What makes it so much better is that there's actually kids at the camp yeah. for right. once. Yeah, yeah. No, because you, I mean, that's the idea, it's right? Kids. Yeah. Summer camp is going to go to summer, but camp. it's always about the counselors. Yeah. You know? sure, movies, yeah. These movies are is about the counselors but this one or the campers but this one is about like the kids at a fucking summer camp Mm -hmm. and a lot of it i don't know their behavior is well i guess it is scripted but yeah but it does feel somewhat unrehearsed or wild yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. as opposed to it's like we got this idea for what we're going to do in the scene but you can just be in the background and do your shit yeah you know and like, so you got little kids and grown-up kids all mingled together, 
and it does kind of feel like an actual summer camp. It does. Like even the little details, like they have their like Friday night social where they're at like the canteen. Mm. All the kids are just sitting like on benches eating food. Like no one's actually dancing or anything. I'm like, that's realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's for that's real. actually <laughs> what happens. It's little stuff like that. I'm like, it looks like watching actual kids at summer camp. Yeah. So they didn't have like an assist. Uh, the AD wasn't right. going around like, okay, you guys are going to do this. And you no. Like, no, what would no. you do here? Right. Yeah. I'd probably just sit on the bench. Exactly. And- <laughs> <laughs> or go play in the water. Yeah. Yeah. And they just shot their movie in it. Yeah. Well, this opening scene is uh, important. You have to remember this, that uh, the uh, John and one of the kids, we don't see which one, is killed in a boating accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Run right? right over. It's It almost feels, it's that old Austin Powers joke where they're, you know, they're that far away from the accident happening. Yeah. And they're just like, ah! <laughs> and it, what looks like it should take them 10 minutes and they should have yeah. time to turn the boat. And the, and the whole thing is like the people driving the boat don't see them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They clearly have plenty of time to look straight ahead and see them. Not to mention when they cut to the boat coming at them, they are looking directly at right. them. Well, and like, so ridiculous. the water skier is telling them like there's people. So she sees them. <laughs> yeah. And there's a boat. She, she sees them and never lets go of the tow rope, even though she's going to run into these people. Right. She could have yeah. just let go. Yeah. And not, not hit them. No, I love yeah. it. She's whatsoever. crying when they cut back to her. She's oh, supposed yeah. to be having a good time in the back of it. Like, yeah. you're, do- you're doing great. And she's like, can we stop? <laughs> oh my God. It's uh, this is amateur night hour the whole way through it. I yeah. mean, this is yeah, an yeah. extremely amateur movie where yes. the actors were probably... Terrible. T- <laughs> okay, there you go. They're terrible. I was going to go they're very non-professional, stilted. Yeah. but terrible. Yeah. You got it. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, uh, John's friend on the... the Beach, we have this cutaway. His special friend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we don't know that yet. All right. This is no. Uh, yeah. No, we don't know that yet. But the, um so the uh so then we advance, what is it, eight months eight, eight years. years later into the future. And we're introduced to uh in, in this kind of uh um I don't know, like surreal state. Yeah, right? It does kind of feel dreamlike. It's a surreal dreamlike moment. <laughs> we meet Aunt With this uh, woman. Martha. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tell me about Aunt Martha. She's like a fucking John Waters character. Yeah, well, she's, she's sorry. A, wait. She's a Stepford wife. So or, just before, you know. okay. So, so basically, uh, the idea here is that Angela is the surviving kid, gone to live with Aunt Martha and and Ricky, Ricky her cousin. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So Aunt Martha, like what what what's going on with this? She woman? is a robot. Yeah. Sure. Or she's constantly dissociating from yeah. reality. That's what it feels like. <laughs> because she yeah. always has these asides where she has to touch her chin and look off into the distance. Yeah. She has conversations with herself yeah. like yeah. she's talking to another person. We won't tell them that. That wouldn't know. That wouldn't be good at all. Like it's very, she asks herself <laughs> questions and then answers them. <laughs> it's very spooky. Off-putting. Yeah. And very weird. spooky. And the way she speaks, she's like, my, my. <laughs> She's very, uh, very sing songy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's yeah. like uh, from a bygone era. Well, she says she's something. a she says she's a doctor. Yeah, and I, could you all imagine? Of, all could of you this imagine? Stuff is important. I, yeah. Like I, oh, I can't imagine any situation where I would want her to be my doctor. <laughs> exactly. No, can you no. imagine her telling With you to turn your head and cough? A doctor of <laughs> what? We wonder. I don't know. Pediatrician. I assume. Uh, I don't know. With that kind of personality, she might be good for it. No. Well, I think she, she'd be terrifying. She's sending the kids off to Camp Arawak because uh, it's good for them. I don't know. Whatever. You know, they got to yeah, get out. because that's what you do during the summer. Yeah. 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 Let's go to camp. And uh, so she's given them their physicals. This yeah. is uh, also a plot point because she's like, don't tell anyone how you got them. You know? Yeah. You're just gonna, and she gives, she puts Ricky in charge of this, right? Yeah. Ricky is supposed to deliver the physicals. Is this is a, 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 a plot point, or am I making? No, more? it absolutely no, it is. is. It is. It's well, very, it depends on yeah. what you think, based on a theory we're gonna bring up later. Well, it's, I mean, it's important to multiple parts of this sure, movie. Yeah, yeah it's that's a, just one of them. Yeah, but it's, it's important to know that she has given them their physical papers, right? And, and she makes it seem probably forged them. Don't yeah. Say, yeah. Yes. Don't say anything. So Ricky, we she's assume, like, wasn't this, right? Is that, wasn't is that what's going on? She's like Ricky, so just and he's like, I won't tell anyone. And you're like, you won't tell anyone that the documents are are made by mom. Mom gave you the yeah. physical, or don't tell anyone that, that you know what's actually going on. Mm. Both, right. yeah. <laughs> is it both? I think so. Yeah. It's up for interpretation. Okay. This, this, is just a, this is a question, like question sixteen. Venus, yes, no. That's what it is. <laughs> it's got to be. Well, they get to camp. Yes. 
uh, where we're introduced to a bunch of colorful characters, including the pedophile cook. No. Oh. Uh, and the uh, James Earl Jones is dead. <laughs> it is so James sad. Earl Jones is dead. It's James it's Earl, so Robert Earl Jones, yes, is the well. He, I guess, he's the deputy cook. Yes. What do you call that? Assistant cook. Is the, you just su- the sous chef. <laughs> he's definitely the, the sous, sous chef. chef. He's the sous chef. That's generous. <laughs> Where they work in giant stock pots that are as big yeah, as a man. Yeah, I didn't think those things really existed. <laughs> Maybe they Except don't. for in like a Stooges movie or something like that. They're going to boil the corn. Yeah. You're going to boil the corn in the world's most, the well, tallest stock pot. Deepest yeah. pot. I love it. Yeah. If nothing the else, you would pot. think how you uh, cook it would be lower. But whatever. I'm not a cook. I don't know how this works. Yeah. In the world's grimiest kitchen, like you said. Oh. Except mm-hmm. It actually has. I like that uh, either the art uh, department was really on point mm. putting all of those flies on the fly paper that's hanging around it's or so gross. they just did that on the day. I, I'd like to think they just left them outside for a week. I'm betting that's real. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to think I, that I think they left them there. in that room. Yeah. <laughs> and it, and it's just there were actual was. flies flying around. Uh, in there. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. if this is a real summer camp, then I bet that's all just real Bugs and collected. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Summer camp. Mm-hmm. Well, the, uh, uh, Ricky and Angela are trying to get acclimated to the. Uh, Ricky's been there before. Yeah, he's been there. He's gone there every like summer for the past like five years. Because last so year he good. had some kind of relationship with Judy. Judy. Yep. Judy filled out. That's the big this news. Year. That's yeah. the big news. Yeah. Judy filled out over the year. Yeah, you guys didn't like Judy very much. Judy sucked. Did you're you? not supposed to like wow. Judy very like much. Do you like Judy? What did you have against Judy? She's she a bully for no reason? Yeah, well, she was a mean girl. What do you have for Judy? Yeah. She's a mean girl. No, Colin, make your case for yeah, Judy. Yeah, go ahead. Judy Defend had Judy. an amazing head of hair. She had a horse. It was she a has horse a lot of hair. It was a horse tail. It was a horse tail. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot of hair. Just a f- and there's flies everywhere, so she's just like. Whoosh. Do you yeah. really, do you really like her shirt no. with her name on it, Colin? Is that I, no. what it is? No, Judy's the bitch of the movie. She's right. the antagonist. She's the, yeah. Well, she's her and Meg, the other counselor, is Judy a counselor? Judy's not. Judy's no, not. No. no. Yeah. Quote, okay. Quote. Meg is supposed to be a counselor. I can't really tell with the ages. Yeah, she's here like a yeah junior counselor. That that's weird. Yeah. Meg gets a nice. Uh, a cut in close up <laughs> and I'm Meg and don't you forget it or yeah. whatever she says. Yeah. Uh, all of these girls immediately uh, begin to pick on the ostracized uh, or begin to ostracize Angela, mm-hmm. the very quiet Angela yeah. who does nothing but uh, stare. She's a mute and she stares. She stares. Yeah. Angela is played Quite by uh, Felissa Rose. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, an actress that you may have heard her name. But I defy you to tell me another film that she has ever appeared in. Ever Return to in- Sleep Away. <laughs> the okay. what? What is the? Um, oh my God! What's that Kane Hodder movie that is like Victor described Crowley. as the uh, Expendables for horror? Oh, what Death was that House. Called? She's in that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I well, wouldn't have been able to come up with an idea. That, that came out like two years ago. It's recent. Yeah. She so. has ninety movies to her credit. Wow! Wow! Good for her. Yeah. And has lived off of the this fact movie. that she was in Sleepaway Camp. Yes. This tells can, you something about her, this movie. Yeah. She can see her being in a lot of Lifetime movies. She does every convention. No, they're convention. all horror flicks. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good for her. Yeah, she's a convention. Uh, I've met her a couple times. She's always around. Always around. She's very really nice. available. She seems very nice. Yeah, I know. For someone who's And she doesn't charge like of... anything compared to other people. And she gives you a ton of free stuff. Maybe she realizes she's, really she's nice. one of those people who realizes like how rare and it, it is that what she's got, what she's, what mm-hmm. she has, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Well, and she's married to the lead guy from CKY. So that like she's married to someone who's probably considered more of a legit celebrity than her. So to get any sort of like constant flow of attention for something you did that long ago, yeah. it's got to be awesome, you know? But she just landed that uh, the magical unicorn or whatever mm-hmm. that one thing that like uh, yeah yeah one thing you'll be famous for for the rest of your life. Congratulations, mm-hmm. bravo, Felissa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, because her acting talents on display in this uh, movie, granted, are not uh, anything really to write home about. They don't right. give her but anything to do, right? And, you know? and, and neither is like anyone else. Is she thirteen? Yeah, she's about like yeah. Really twelve. Young, yeah, right. I think yeah. she's thirteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's not asked to do much. She has black eyes, the devil's eyes. <laughs> very this movie. very Big black wide, eyes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she just stares Good for staring. a lot. She's mm-hmm. got a very long face, dark hair, mm-hmm. and uh, looks creepy all the time, basically is the, the direction, I think, that she was probably given. Mm-hmm. Um, so Angela, so basically, I mean, I guess the gist of this is Angela and Ricky arrive at the camp 
and shortly thereafter, people begin to die. First of all, the uh, pedophile uh, cook, right? Yep. Where everybody's just kind of like, oh, Robert, whatever. Because he's, he's like, the you the sly dog. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, too, too old for you. Or what do you say to him? Like, look at all those fresh chicken. He called yeah, them bald, fresh call chicken. Them baldies. <laughs> uh, let's, let's not. Oh repeat God! It. <laughs> makes and he's and he's and he's crying. <laughs> as we say, yeah, I'm he's so crying happy. tears of joy that all the chickens have come back. Oh, oh boy. boy, yeah. So we had him pegged pretty early on. It's like this guy's a dirty. Does not peg? <laughs> and uh, sure enough, I and he's mean, got like the goatee, they, just the gross goatee to go with it. Oh yeah, know? and he's one of those guys who's always got the shit like spilled all over the front of his. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so he and he takes uh, Angela back into the back room and like immediately starts to undo his belt and all this. Stuff. Oh no, they bring her to him. That's the, the sick fucking part. Are you under the impression that uh, that because I know that Robert Earl Jones seems to be aware that uh, he, I always thought he had the devil in him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But everybody else, I mean, because Mel, I think is just blind to like everything that's fucking going on in oh, the of camp. Yeah. <laughs> the owner. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, they bring her back there and she's almost assaulted and Ricky has to come in and save her. So we're mm-hmm. like, okay, Ricky is watching out for his feeble cousin, yes. Angela. That's the dynamic yeah. yes. of this movie, right? Yes. He is going to protect her because yes. she's going to keep on getting uh, picked on. Yeah, he's, yes, he he's, kind of, he's kind of the only kid or the only person at this camp that isn't an asshole. Basically. Yeah, but oh, the kids. You're saying that because the counselors, some oh, of the sure. counselors actually do like look out for. Well, not yeah. the girl counselors. Not the girl counselors. Well, no, there's that one, the blonde. Oh yeah, there's maybe one, but for the right. most part, he's like one of the maybe like three decent people at camp. Right. Yeah, because there's also. I mean, you can basically maybe that's how you check this off. I was surprised. I think when I first saw this movie, the coarseness of the the language of these kids. Uh, was just kind of shocking for mm-hmm. like 1983. You got little kids who are like 15 years old running around. You cocksucker! <laughs> you know, like, yeah, that's oh, pretty, that's like, pretty, fuck you. That's realistic though. I think yeah, it, it is. is. Right. That, that's realistic. But even like, but I mean, we're I, usually used to seeing it coming out of people are supposed to be playing that age, but aren't. Like so you're just 30s. like, yeah, that's all right. They're saying this stuff. These are kids. Yeah, these, these are, are kids. kids in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really weird. And they all just being like turning around face to face. Fuck you. Yeah, you get slapped. But I mean, I even remember when I was a kid, like kind of being shocked by that because I, I don't know. I don't like, feel like I cursed that much when I was a kid. Right? But. Yeah. I mean, I was. Did aware you guys not go to public words. school or something? Yeah. 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 No, but we I, oh man, I. But I it was like, just don't remember if I did. Middle school on that's yeah. like as when people discovered swear words in like middle oh, yeah. school. That's all they but fucking that might have been all they I did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, like, I'm I Michaela, have... but I remember, I imagine when you were in like uh, 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 grade school, if somebody like. Gave you the wrong look, you'd pull a blade and just fucking cut him real quick. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just feel like you had zero tolerance for that. Shit. Fuck you, you so she was, bitch. So she was Mozart when she was in grade school. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mozart's getting picked on. He's doing, uh, what was that called? The game they were playing? The, the which one? Which, well, there's it lots of the games setup? in this. Yeah, the magic setup one. The, what was yeah. it called? It wasn't light as a feather. It was, it was, it was, it was just light as a feather. I Does think so. No, or, that's or, not light as a feather. What did he call it? I don't know what they call uh, it. Mind over for, matter. Mind over matter. Yeah. Mind over matter. Oh, he got he get, did a mind over matter <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You're blindfolded and you sit up into somebody into a moon. Basically, somebody's yeah. got there. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> no, describe it more, please. <laughs> the um, funny thing is though that, that like he didn't. He was like, "You guys suck." But then when they like put shaving cream in his face, he pulled a knife out. <laughs> right. I'd be more is pissed. He, about, like I had enough. I'd be more pissed about the ass in my face. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, yeah. Sure. Pull a knife for for shaving. Cream. No, there's some. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, you think it's leading up to it? I think it was a volcano eruption. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. No, I think there's some uh, um, uh, homoeroticism going on in this movie. A lot. Oh, a, so lot. Just, just a, a lot. A lot. A lot. Just a little. Ultimately, bit. when we find out where this thing is going, it has uh, some. I guess that's why this movie has stand, stood the test of time. It has. Is that why? An angle to it. <laughs> well, it, uh, ultimately lending yeah. to the, or leading to the ending. Um, should we just talk about the ending? Or, Already? Or are we still we'll leading get there. up to it? We'll okay. All right. So um, several other murders happen uh, during the course of this thing. Creative uh, ones. I appreciate the creativity. Tell me about these creative murders dude's gonna go take a dump so why not cut a the window dump. open a wicked dump <laughs> why not cut the window open and throw a nest of bees on him yeah mm-hmm. 
Right, right. Which we don't actually see that happen. Right? I was kind of disappointed. The they, all, I mean, you yeah. see, they edit it so that you know that's what's happening, but yeah, yeah, yeah you don't actually right. see the nuts drop onto the guy, no. But, but I did appreciate that we see the aftermath. Yeah. It was gross. Mm-hmm. Disgusting, because we actually see bees, like, crawling into, like, Large his holes. arm. Yeah, so like, they're bees, gonna, like, yeah. nest in him or something. Yeah. I guess that's what they do? They, like, like, they turn him into you? a hive? It looks, <laughs> a yeah, it flesh like hive? A, a trypophobia or trypophobia? Oh, or yeah. It yeah. Yeah, it's gross. What are you yeah. talking about? The, what the, whole, I can't the fear of, like, the fear a, of holes like a cluster of, like, holes that yeah. create an unsettling pattern. Yeah. So, like... What is this called? Trypophobia? Or yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. it's Look it up. It may, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, every once in a while, I'll feel a little scratch of it looking at something. I'm like, oh, like, yeah. that's enough. I don't need yeah. to, like... Some people have it really bad. There was a thing in my wedding bouquet that kind of like activated that for some people. <laughs> Those things yeah. always end up in flower arrangements. Yeah, it was like a seed pod Looking that kind of like, that. like, you know. Tripop- tripophobia. 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 Yeah. Tripophobia. Yeah, where you're, where you're, yeah. Afraid of holes. How does it make you feel? Mm. Ah, how does it make you feel? <laughs> no, 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 Oh, oh, stop it! Oh, the, the one's hand. on the hand. Why is it in the hand? Stop! Yeah. stop. <laughs> this is oh, all right. Sean, <laughs> stop. Wow. Okay, I'm stopping. All right, oh, a little God. bit of Google oh, for you. Try, try, trypophobia. Trypophobia. Right. Oh, it's bad. Right. Google it at your own risk. <laughs> okay, so we got the bees and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Guys, <laughs> cover with the bees. guy in the canoe. There was the guy in the canoe. All right, this all is right. The, the but that's the that this is the one that uh, I'm going to hinge a theory on later. Okay. 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 But yeah, so what happens there? Uh, idiot kids out in the in a canoe with a girl. He took her out there just to tip the canoe over. Right. Well, this is after there's yeah. the whole uh, the um, the 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 group of guys are trying to get the girls to go skinny dipping. Um, yeah, and- that's the thing with this movie. All the guys are either trying to like get the girls to hook up with them, or they're tormenting them. Yeah, it's one or the other. The that's, whole movie. That's kind of isn't that's which is how boys are. Just like, like real life. life. No, I was just. I was. That's what I was leading up to. It was like it's realistic. <laughs> that's that's two exactly modes at this age. Yes, yeah. exactly. But no, they, they get, really are like single minded. Oh, yeah. Either one of two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think they're dual minded because their backup plan, if they can't get the girls, just like fuck it, we're going by ourselves. Yeah. And torment, tormenting everybody. It's nothing's by taking more fun to guys than skinny dipping with a bunch of guys. Yeah, I'd be like, no, I'm good. Well, that's why I was like, what's supposed to be happening in that scene? Are we? Well, maybe, you know, maybe I was just okay. gonna in that situation. But that actually made me think about something because I was like, you know, later on there's gonna be a shower scene in this movie, right? It's like because traditionally in these movies, Usually, how, how was you there? do have there was there though. was there was but not a nude. Well, shower okay, scene. I guess I was thinking more like a locker room. Or like, yeah, I like that. What's like because everyone yeah. was too young. Yeah, yeah. everyone's yeah. kids. That's well, why we yeah. can't do it. But there was so much talk about how they all shower at the same time. Yeah. That's yeah. why I thought it, yeah. like, it was going to, especially because Judy and her lesbian crush on Angela won't stop talking about how she showers different time from she, everyone why else. Why do you yeah. say she has a lesbian crush? Because she's talking about her genitals to her face. She's like, yeah. oh yeah, you don't have any hair down there. You don't. Why don't you shower at the same she time with the rest lot. of us? Yeah. You don't say that stuff to and someone later, later on when they sexually interested in them. When they go to throw her in the lake and she's like, let's get that beautiful body of yours in the lake yeah what the yeah fuck, yeah man? well she yeah because judy being the chief tormentor of the group singles angela out right. for ridicule and just does like she zeroes in on her and like no, she's staring at her to, she's relentless well, she kind of yeah. looks like she's staring at paul every time she's with angela but she's just staring at angela mm-hmm. yeah. she ends up well paul being the other the one of the other males ricky's was, friend yeah nice to her yeah. right and they become kind of like sweethearts angela and paul mm. and uh um uh, judy specifically moves in on him uh because angela yeah. likes him yeah. of course. she had no interest in him until he had an interest in Angela. Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing, I guess. Like the thing, the way you make something more valuable is uh, what? No, she just wants Angela's it's attention. About, it's about Angela, good or bad. It's nothing yeah. to do with Paul. Um, but yeah, I guess he's just I was, an object in this game, yeah. Colin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I guess I was, I was expecting that there was going to be like the nude scene in the shower. Yeah. But this movie gives us a lot of man ass. Lots. <laughs> Lots of man ass. So it was like, what? this is a, a, a different wrinkle for. Uh, oh, don't. Say, <laughs> that's. <laughs> say wrinkle. I can't even make puns. They just come out, they, you know, they like whatever. Do, it, it, Sean finds them there. Um, <laughs> so, well, you were looking at me when you said it. <laughs> uh, but um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know like how uh, all the guys going skinny dipping is supposed to attract all the girls into going skinny right, dipping. Right, like this, also. Is will, this will entice them if we just go do it by ourselves. Yeah, especially after, you guys are no fucking fun anyway. Right, we're going to go have a great time <laughs> skinny dipping. You're going to regret not coming with us. Yeah. No, they won't. I don't think they will. <laughs> I think you got that one wrong, Do you wrong, think buddy? that their thought was like, if they see how much fun we're having, they'll want to join I us too? I think that's what they were I trying to do. Because they was. jumped in, they were like, woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's uh, a, that's they won't a, want to miss out on this good time. Right? Yeah. Yep. That's, that's I think that's not, part of the, no. the that's, philosophy. That's how that works, right? No, all those girls had already showered. They're, yeah. <laughs> they, they were not. They are not getting in that lake. No. Like, if you think they are, you do not know girls. <laughs> They've already showered. No. Well, the one not does go for a canoe ride. She does. Which ends up the dude flips over the canoe ride or the canoe and then uh, Yeah, she, you got a girl to go on a canoe ride yeah. with you and you're just there to fuck with her? I, I don't get that's this. What I'm, Guys yeah. are dumb. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then but he's he got a mullet, up, so you know he's not going anywhere. It's well, he ends up getting murdered, drowned under in the because he goes underneath the turned over boat, mm-hmm. right. and then somebody we don't know who shows up in there and uh, and kills him. Every time this somebody shows up, uh, there's always a reaction from the victim, like "Oh, you! What are you doing?" Mm-hmm. Always get that reaction because it's very Friday the Thirteenth, right? Yeah. I mean, this also happened. You know, you're trying to conceal who your actual your killer is. But how good is this movie at concealing who its killer is? Because this is, I guess, the question I put to you guys while we were watching the movie. Who are we supposed to believe is is killing people? Which, which way is the, the movie has to be? Is it giving us options or is it steering us in one direction? I think it's it's I think it's pretty I think it's pretty dead even. Yeah, for I think, a good portion of the movie, I think uh, between two I, people. Yes, I think early on they're trying to make you think that it's either Ricky or Angela, yes. but then a, a little bit into it, like maybe more Angela, maybe halfway through it starts leaning towards. Okay, no, it's Angela. So Mozart to you was never even a possibility. Not, not he was all. he was not out of this movie so quickly. Yeah. Because I thought maybe he was going to be an outside, you know, like really. You were, did you have something hinged on Mozart? You thought he was going to start killing people. Colin well, made a bet I mean, back in the day. And- I saw yes. this movie a long time ago, so my memory is colored by I know the ending. But uh, yeah. this time I'm like, okay, what was the film? What were the filmmakers what were they trying to? What were they accomplish? trying to? Yeah, because I mean, you have to do these movies where it's a mystery, right? <laughs> Right. Well, this one seems, on hindsight, like pretty obviously po- going in one direction. But yeah. I guess it is. Trying to go, well, it's either Ricky or it's Angela. Mm-hmm. You know, the two kids showed up and then people died. Right. And so they're... it's one of the two of them. And it's always somebody who offends Angela. Right. Somebody. So is it Ricky, you know, doing like these honor killings for uh, Angela, you know. Right. And or is it's... Angela doing it herself? And they're showing uh, in the close-ups to everything when they show the hands of the, of the killer. It's usually uh, uh, a young man's hands going in there. Mm-hmm. So that throws us off. Usually uh, or always. Uh, I thought I saw one or two where a woman had her hands in there. But, I mean, you know, a young man's hands and a young woman's hands are very similar. There is Most of the time. There is a scene, though, later. Well, Meg ends up, uh, she gets killed in the shower. Yes. And probably the most slasher-ish, I thought. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Scene. Yeah, through the door or through the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it through the wall or through like the curtain? Was through, it through the wall. The wall? Through the like, like the shower wall. wall. Yeah. It's yeah. like the thin shower wall. Because she's like pinned wall. to it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like sounds pulling like it down. It's, I like yeah. the pulling it down, you know, because yeah. you got to do yeah. that in your slasher movie where it goes in and then, yeah. mm-hmm. which is probably impossible to do, I would assume, because you're going through like uh, ribs and stuff at that point. But whatever. Uh, you got to do it in yeah. your slasher movie. And then so she's uh, she's laid out dead. She was like having an affair with the like sixty year old dude who owned the place. Yeah. Apparently. Oh, another weird wrinkle. Mm-hmm. Your term. Yeah, the wrinkle. Mine. This movie's uh, full of wrinkles. Full well, <laughs> weird, weird wrinkles. Weird wrinkle. <laughs> weird wrinkles all over the place. Uh yeah, that was uh that was one of the weirdest ones. It kind of comes out of nowhere and I don't know what the kind of purpose was for it. I mean, maybe is it to give motivation for Mel to beat the shit out of uh Yes. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's basically that's explicitly that's it. it, right? It was to take Ricky out of the movie for yeah. a minute. Yeah. Yep. Well, his Mel, the owner, his the campground owner, his whole thing is eventually he's like pretty much the only person uh fulfilling the role of the amateur detective. Yes. Like you yeah. have to have to cop well, I guess there is a cop with an awesome oh God. stuck on. Well, Groucho he has a great Marx. mustache to begin with. Yeah, the Groucho Marx uh, mustache. Right. Mm-hmm. And then apparently he shaved it off at some point. 
And what? It, and well, he shaved it off at some point. Wait, you're he, telling us a true story? Yeah. Okay, t- hit me again. When we first see the cop earlier in the movie, that real mustache. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. Mm-hmm. Uh, later on, this is a magnificent. Magnum it is. It's P-I-80. a Tom Selleck no, mustache. It's, it's, it's a good mustache. It's pretty yeah. nice. Um, and he's a cop, so it fits. Um, but then uh, apparently he shaved it off at some point, and then they brought him back to do more shooting, and no mustache. So they stuck a very blatant, <laughs> yeah, pitch black mustache <laughs> on this brownish, sandy colored haired dude, and it is fucking hilarious. I love it because they like. I mean, the way that you camouflage that stuff is you shoot from a distance, right? Oh no, <laughs> not in no, this we're case. We're gonna give this uh, dude a tight close up. Yeah. But it's like, wow, what the fuck is that on your lip? We're going to linger on yeah. this thing. It reminded me of It's Always Sunny, the episode where Dee like, progressively becomes more of a bird. As yes. Tell the story. Oh the Halloween yeah. episode. Yes. It's, Until it's just a full-blown she's ostrich. She's a full yeah. ostrich. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly it. That mm-hmm. sounds pretty funny. That it show's is. fucking it's hilarious. Should, we've been telling you, you to watch it for years. I know. I know. <laughs> well, it's I been mean, on TV for 14 seasons for yeah, a reason. So funny. I know. Did the last... Uh, season. Anybody watch American Horror Story? Not last. No. Yes, it was terrible. Yeah, but it I did cannot a lot believe of, like, that show is not canceled yet. Eighties summer camp. It's I mean, it was for the, it started that way. Okay, because oh, it's American Horror Story. They <laughs> yeah, can't commit to one idea that's ever. That's true. But it borrowed some of the fashion from like the Sleepaway Camp, Burning Friday I mean, the Thirteenth movies. Any, did? you know it how like everything a, the brighter is. Eighties version of it. It's it's just it a caricature of the eighties. It's yeah. just it a really like a caricature. A big exaggeration of any eighties cliche. They that just you could don't think actually of. nail it. I'm still waiting for that time. Well, because like, it's like not authentic. Things. It's like it's not authentically eighties. No, I was there. <laughs> they just don't like commit to that idea either. That's mm. the problem. Mm-hmm. Well, also made me think of um, what had American Summer. I thought about that a lot. Well, a lot. Yeah, that was actually lot. really inspired by this. Movie. Oh, like, yeah. I, know, I was guarantee it. Yeah. Guarantee Wait, it. What? Yeah. yeah, the guy who wrote the movie What Had American Summer was like took a lot from this movie. Like that, he said that. Like, yes. this is Sleepaway yes. Camp. Okay. Well, I mean, that's, I believe it's it. obvious. Yeah, yeah, you know, for seeing sure. the movies, there's a. So I this, always thought, this does carry currency. I mean, that's the thing. I always thought, like, if you're going to do a Friday the Thirteenth movie now, I know Jason at this point it's 2020. He has sat. The last decade out, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, Thanks, rights issues. Yeah. <laughs> Shakes fist. <laughs> uh, you get you hire the guys who wrote Wet Hot American Summer mm-hmm. to make the movie. Yeah. yeah. Like, seriously, it's like those guys understand, like, the summer camp. Bring them yeah. in. Have right. them fucking write it. And then have somebody else who's a little more horror-oriented come in and do, like, the second pass on it. Mm-hmm. But at least you'd have the characters there and the situations. Yeah. Um, it's a great, yeah, and there's a TV show, right? There's a one, two Yeah, seasons it was a of, Netflix yeah. show. Uh, I keep on thinking Indian Summers, the other Dip- uh, yeah, summer camp. But was yeah. there like another one? Was that it? Indian Summer? The um, and what had American Summer? Those are the summer camp comedies, drama comedies. Everything else yeah. is a horror movie set in a summer camp. I mean, I mean, there's other ones, but yeah, isn't there one where there's an alien that shows up in a summer camp with a bunch of kids? Call him Meathead. Mm, the remember fuck this? are you Wait, talking you about? This? Meatballs? No, sorry. it's not meatballs. No, that's a no. way different movie. Okay. No, nah. I'm, I'm gonna f- I'm gonna find this <laughs> this movie that I swear to God I did not make up in my head. Uh, there, uh, an alien comes in. They dress you, him in like you, a yellow gonna, rain slicker and everything. They call him Meathead. You have to prove that you I'm didn't gonna have make to this up. This. All right, Sean's gonna try <laughs> and prove gonna, it right now. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, okay. this all Sleep leads us to to a. Wait, we should talk about the curling iron. Thing, oh, yeah. There was a lot of discussion about that while we were Judy watching. eventually mm-hmm. does meet her demise at a cur- uh, in a scene with a curling iron. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is shot in Meatballs very- 2. I see. That's oh, what I knew okay. it. I knew yeah, it. It's meatballs I knew it was one of them fucking Meatballs movies. Um, <laughs> there you go. There's like four of those, right? Meatballs? I think so, yeah. Uh, so there's a scene, Judy, who has been, this is the one that's been picking on Angela all this time. Uh, she's in her bunk, right? She's just making out with this dude and he takes off. And then she's, you know, curling her hair with a curling iron. Dude's constantly taking off from the women. Again, don't understand the mindset of the the younger people of this era. Nobody goes all the way in this movie. No. There's none. At least they Because they're all legit movie, so children. Yeah. yeah that's, that's probably true. Yeah, yeah. You're right. They couldn't. Act. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, we should stop clamoring for it. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Um,. Well, that's why I thought, like, the older, uh, you know, like, well, counselors. That's why they make them with usually the where you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this movie's about the actual campers, not the counselors, for once in a summer camp mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. But Meg was an older counselor, I'm just saying. Not, not old much enough. older. I know, that's what I'm saying, not old enough. <laughs> that's like a um, 13-year-old babysitting a 10-year-old. It's, mm-hmm. it's uh, you know. So what happens in this, uh, the scene with the curling iron? 
That's a good question. What happens? Why? Well, why would you say what happens? Because it's a it's it's a shadow death. Yeah, true. It's a shadow she death. She is suffocated mm-hmm. in a, a, yeah. a, a hot yeah, curling know, iron. We know is that she's put somewhere. Yeah, we know that she's killed. Essentially, she's smothered with a pillow. But what else is also happening is up for interpretation. I think Michaela um, suggested that maybe it was inserted. In an orifice. I mean, and I didn't come up with that. That's what the Wikipedia movie <laughs> right. says. Like, right. it's very true. Well, and granted, he did. Think, he, she, yeah, the yeah. killer did open it up, so we yeah, may yeah, have yeah. got the shocker going on in there. To tell you the truth, it was like, it, what it are you been. doing with this curling iron? But so, I just, I'm just saying, I mean, Michaela Rob, I think we were all thinking that that could be what was happening. Sure, but ironically, and this is, I think, a miss for the movie. Was it yes, poking I her in the foot? Right, get, no. But I, I, when I saw this when I was a kid, you know, obviously, again, didn't yeah. know, like, what the hell was going on. But because it's so non-explicit, I was like, okay, you die with the curling iron. It, you know, touches you, you hear the sizzle of bacon grease or whatever. But now you watch it and you're like, I wonder, are they actually doing the, like, what have you done to Solange, you know, kind of, uh, or the 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 mutilator is, oh, mm. Jesus Christ, that's a movie. But, uh you know, I think it is uh, vaginal trauma. I was always by so confused of, by that because I was yeah. like, that's not enough to kill you. Like, I I would miss the pillow smothering portion oh, of I that gotcha. because I was like, wait, hold on. We need to talk about what just <laughs> happened there. Yeah. And so I was always like, how is that? That's not going to fucking kill you. But now that I see the whole picture smothering. Uh, in both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. horrible, yeah. horrible yeah. way yeah. to die. She screams, loses all her air. And- mm-hmm. But I don't think, Smothered. like I said, I don't think that ever uh, until probably this viewing actually like added up to me that that was what was going on. Uh. Smother and, uh, you know, burn. But uh, the, the part that's really, un- I mean, let's say unrealistic is that it would take, so she, so, okay. She's laying, <laughs> she's laying there and getting smothered to death while also having it inserted. So that means one person is killing her with one hand on the pillow. Yep. She can't fight that back. She can't fight it off. Like no. she one got punched hand. in the face. Hard enough to, oh, that's the other thing. She got punched in the face hard enough to knock her out. Like oh. these kids are what? 12. Yeah, but it was boy strength. Wasn't girl strength? I don't know what. The I don't think that matters when you're twelve <laughs> I don't think and you're just so a scrawny either. little camper. Yeah. Boy so she's strength. dazed, dazed and confused. Well, we find that out. It's later. really hard to smother somebody. It's not a matter. Oh yeah, uh, tell us more. Uh, hey, speaking from experience, sure. I saw Inglorious Bastards <laughs> and that Alfred Hitchcock movie. For you, what it was, Torn Curtain, That's Sopranos. Well, takes forever to. for somebody to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I feel so like they might leads- have tried it and. Uh, fuck what was that wait but we're talking about the long strangulation where it's like this is how long it actually takes to strangle I hear somebody. it's really yeah. hard to strangle somebody. I know that's why those movies that have done it it's like it's here's a five minute scene of somebody strangling somebody trying to I feel like so it, you at home every kids, serial killer who's confessed try always it. says it's really hard yeah and they're like the movies lied to me I thought you could just go and like crack mm-hmm. your neck or I feel like it's kind of hard to hang yourself from a sink too but we've seen that in movies <laughs> that's lately, very so. true that's they're doing point. that so like <laughs> people don't point. copy it Right? Is that the whole thing? I don't know. Anyway, so this leads us to the shocking conclusion of Sleepaway Camp, where... Did we get everybody killed? There's kids. Kids. A lot of kids get killed in this oh, movie. Yeah, kids the, in the, the campers, woods? The kids, yeah. Actual kid oh, yeah, campers yeah. in the ones? They get murdered? Yeah, uh, but like you say they get murdered, and it's like a pile of like bloody down jackets on the ground. Really, there's an <laughs> arm like sticking it. out, and that's about it. Yeah, they're in there a little bit. They are found murdered. They are not seen murdered. Well, here's the thing. That I guess is happening. Uh, oh, and Mel Angela goes is always, they're always trying to get Angela to go f- for a swim. Uh, the idea being that she would have to take her clothes off at some point. Right. Uh, there's the whole thing with the physical. The shower. The, the, she doesn't shower with the other girls. And uh, she's being. Um, when Paul's making out with her. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. There's a little romance taking right. place there with her and Paul. And this is where the cracks in her psyche start to show a little bit because she has a memory i think when yes. she's making out with paul a weird of memory the of it's of her father and the <laughs> dude from the beginning of the movie john like fondling each other in bed while the kids are like at the it's not door even fondling it's just well, whatever they're doing caressing yeah they're, it, it looks like it's just kind of like pillow talk they're just laying there okay. yeah yeah not, not finally Jonathan more crushing just like, it's 1983 <laughs> yeah which at the time that I saw this in 1983 this was shocking stuff oh, I didn't yeah. see it in 1983 whatever but it was shocking yeah it was yeah. shocking so I think I saw this young enough where I was just like 
hmm, I don't understand this. Sure. And the on. kids are laughing at it. Yes. Right. Uh, and so you're like, what in the holy fuck is going on? Seconds later, we're treated to a flashback with Aunt Martha, where we find out that. Uh, oh, this is when they're walking up to. Uh, yeah, they're, they're walking, walking up, up to, to Angela on the beach because she does agree eventually to go skinny dipping with Paul. Yes. And we see what looks like, you know, they're naked sitting there on the um, on the beach. She's caressing his head. Yep. And I singing. Did make, and, yeah. yeah did, singing. We, did we say that he made out with Judy? Oh, he did make out with Judy. Because yeah, Judy was fucking trying that, to that's fuck a, That's a key point. True. Oh, because yeah. I think that keys Angela off. Yeah. Like, right. That marks him for death at uh-huh. that point, right? She's yeah. been okay yeah. with everybody. Else. She kills everybody who offends her. And that is when he offended her. And so, because Paul turns into a pretty big jerk, yeah. The second half of this movie, yeah. Well, he's not- trying to he's trying to to make up for the fact that he made out with Judy with Angela because well, he really but, likes but, Angela. No, but the like, thing is, like, he was pressuring Angela to begin with, and yeah. she said no, and then he was like, "Well, I'm going to make out with this girl who will do it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so he's like, kind of yeah. Then so he's trying bad. to back or back yeah. pedal from that. He's it's an like, asshole. Damage kid. is done at that point, yes. and, you know, intentions or whatever. Yes, and you're, you're, it's broken. Yes. Um, the, uh, but it turns out that aunt Martha already had Ricky in the home. Mm-hmm. Doesn't want doesn't, another boy. Doesn't need a boy. At this point we find out who survived the boat accident. And it's Paul know. or no, Peter. It's Peter. 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 Thank you. And Mary. <laughs> I was just going. <laughs> there. All right. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> but Peter survived, not Angela. And mm. it turns out that Martha convinced the little boy to be a little girl. Mm. I don't think she convinced him so much as she was like, you're a girl now. You're a girl. <laughs> yeah. you forced Apparently you've lost this. all your hair in the accident. Well, uh, she cut it. Oh, maybe. She have think, a head injury probably, Well, that's right? what I'm saying. Because yeah. yeah, of the head injury, all her hair is so. gone, so they're just going to start over. I think that's what the bandages represent, I think so. right? It's yeah. like, she is, uh, yeah, yeah. She also might have gotten, like, head trauma. I was going to say, I'm yeah, pretty sure that signifies that she's just not right in the head anymore. Right, yeah. 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 So you can convince this person. Yeah, who's right. she's gone kinda... through, a, like, an emotional trauma and a physical trauma, and right. she's just kind of fucked in the head now. Right, so mm-hmm. she's yeah. taking advantage of that and be like, you'll be my daughter now. Yeah. And then, before we even have time to process this information. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> wait, what? Two counselors come upon them, her singing and stroking Paul's head at the beach. And then literally dun, dun, dun. his head, his literally. head, nothing yeah. else. Because she stands, she stands up, and his head falls. It's just a head. She's decapitated him. Yes, she. And then a slow he. pull out, and a few disturbing noises later. Well, this is but what it is also, the sound? And disturbing <laughs> <laughs> with horns blaring <laughs> on the soundtrack. Yeah, a disturbing <laughs> image in the close up. <laughs> it's it's uh, Felissa Rose. Yep. Yeah. Yes. With this uh, frozen look on it's her like a face. frozen scream. And in the wide shots, it's a cast of her head. Yes. Yep. On a boy's naked body, on a small Ethiopian man. Who it's gotta be. apparently was it's, so mortified. I guess they they actually uh, just found like some kid. Yeah, he was this. a townie, like an eighteen year old townie, and he was like, they they're like, drunk. they got him way drunk. He had to do <gasps> this. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh he, god, uh, does or, not well, ever want to be recognized with this film? Apparently, oh, yeah. Well, no, understandable, understandable. You know what? Jesus. You've earned your privacy. That's mm. fair. Yeah, dude. I don't know if it was they got him drunk or he said he needed to get drunk. Or maybe probably. I was like, I, I it was, hope it's that he chose to get drunk. He chose. He needed to get drunk before he could do it. They I mean, didn't make him. It's still, he made it's the still choice not to do really it. okay, no, but I hope not. it was his choice. Right. Well, he's but not okay with it now. No, well, yeah, he doesn't want to be like identified as clearly. No. But basically, we up. get uh, this. It's an image that your brain is just like. There's something really wrong. Here. Yeah. It's disturbing. With the sound and the music, it is. It's disturbing. It really is disturbing. But I think part of what makes it disturbing is because it doesn't look human. Yeah. When they pull <laughs> right. out. And right. So yeah, jarring. It does not. It, yeah. It's at all. Jarring. It is exactly right, yeah. Michaela. It might it be because jarring. like the face coloring also doesn't match the body coloring, which is like, like, like literally, a man chest yeah. or something. Yeah. There's yeah. like blood streaked all over Literally yeah. everything about the scene is off. Yeah. The yeah. sound, the sight, everything about it is off. Yeah. I kind of dig the rubber mask though because of how crazy it looks. I, exactly. I love that exactly. It's just yeah. all 
fucking weird. And yeah. it's just like the movie. That's why it works. Yes. That's what we're saying. Like that's it's why... it's not like, oh, I this movie fucking sucks because of no no no. That's why it's such a disturbing on yes. point ending. The way the movie ends is it's Angela's face, Felissa Rose's face, uh is uh, uh freeze framed up on the screen as the credits roll. And it's like that image, that whole it's thing. Like it's, night, like it's, it's like night vision. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's searing in your brain. Yeah. And, yeah. Just, and they just leave it up there. And that's what, that's like the physical manifestation of that image being seared onto your brain yeah. for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Th- Especially if you saw this when you were young. This yeah. movie, holy shit. This movie drops that bomb on you and then yeah. it's like, all right, get the fuck out. We're done here. We're it's immediately yeah. over. Yes. That. We don't know what happens to yeah. her. I mean, it's assumed, I suppose, because we know Ricky survives, right? Uh, yeah, he's, he's a little alive. beat up. Yeah, he's beat up to an old man fight. The old man thinks <laughs> that Ricky's the killer and beat the living shit out of him. But yeah, I mean, the movie doesn't give you a uh, a release, I guess, from this yeah. which is no. final there's moment no, of like no resol- kind of shock. There's no resolution. It's just you boom, go. you're done. But it's kind of great though, isn't it? It just like yeah. it ramps you up to this, and you're like, what? Huh? And then you, but it, it answers everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it doesn't give you any, like you said, release from that. Yeah, You're just like, it? but it answers everything. See, here's the thing. I'm okay. I th- I think you could see two ways okay. about this, but it was the 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 kayak or the canoe murder, mm-hmm. right? Angela's afraid of the water. <clears throat> I assumed that that was because of the death of her father and uh, sister, right? Mm-hmm. In the opening scene. Yeah. Mm. But I suppose you could read it as she just didn't want to go in the water uh, in public because that would be revealed that she's not a girl. Yeah. So the idea that the killer is okay with swimming out there and, you know, killing whatever, whatever that kid, the the one in the canoe. Yeah. Was, yeah. Right. So that's why I'm like, is it Angela actually doing these murders? It is. Or is it Ricky until the very end of the movie? And she she only kills Paul? Yes. Because Paul, uh, yeah, that's when the whatever, is, it's getting too intimate. And so mm-hmm. this is where, you know, she's not going to be able to maintain the facade and the psychology is going to break. And, and now you're positing that if Ricky is killing these people, it's on behalf of Angela? Yes. yes. Okay. I think. I mean, I think that could work. Plausible. They both work. Extremely yeah. angry all the time whenever whenever anybody uh, does anything against his yes. cousin. I mean, I guess maybe mm-hmm. this is to say that you know it's natural, mm-hmm. right? That you know, in defense of her, he would you know do all this. Or, you know, right. so, and he could have been murder. taught that from like a young age when she first came in. It's like you have to protect her at all costs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, I don't actually think that's what the movie's going. It's for. a good theory. I agree. I don't think I don't that's th- what they were. Getting I agree. At. I don't think it is, but it could. But it does. It could play that way. No, like the movie's saying, you could, she was go cracked watch it back. in the head, right? Yes. From the, so mm-hmm. she's already mentally unstable. Uh, she's psychotic because uh, <laughs> either of that and the trauma and the fact that she's been forced to be a girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, for, she was fucked. Like yeah. There's no way she's going to be a normal functioning person. Just yeah. not going to happen. No. But not uh, necessarily a serial <laughs> killer. But, you know, I mean, I guess it's where uh, you got to protect the secret. This is the craziest. The craziest? It's the most shocking ending of a movie since Psycho of this kind of similar thing. True or false? At the time, maybe. I was more shocked at this. At what? At this. Than Psycho? Well, I, I don't know, I, but I had seen this. And I knew Psycho about this both twists before I saw the movie, so it's like hard to really gauge how much of an uh, impact it would have had on me. You know, I did not know about the twist when I saw this movie. Yeah, uh, if we're going, if we're comparing to Psycho, Psycho, I knew the twist, so I was just mm-hmm. like, okay, whatever. But this, I didn't know when I saw it, mm. so this was more surprising to me. Plus, mm-hmm. that imagery is just uh, shocking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, we didn't touch on the fact that it, in the eighties, at this point, it was. Kind of also just shocking to see a full frontal naked man. Mm-hmm. Also Honestly, that. even still in movies, like, that still. never happens. Yeah, even still, it's a little shocking. It sometimes. seems like it's happening a lot more now. It Whenever is more, I see that yeah. there's nudity and the R rating, you know, at the beginning of the movie, I'm like it's a dude. No, <laughs> like what? What movies are you watching? <clears throat> I can't even remember the last one. I just remember, you know, it seemed like this movie has I feel graphic like I never nudity see it. in it. It's like, oh, it's dudes. It, I see it more than I used to. Yeah, for sure. The Dracula show that was on uh, in Dracula. You figure you're going to have a lot, whatever. It's all naked butt. Well, that's not full frontal. That's not full so frontal. That's, okay. Yeah, it's not full frontal. Um, How many movies are you seeing Dong in, Colin? 
Mm. It seems like Sorry it's, a, well, it's, it's a lot more than yeah. it used to be. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. I can't think of the last that one. Was that was shocking. That's shocking nudity, that was isn't shocking. it? But I was saying actually to somebody, this is off topic. I'm like, when's the last time you saw like a sex scene in a movie? I'm like, well, fuck. Or, you know, it's been like a long time, it feels like. Well, yeah, it's because Disney and Marvel are, are making every movie that comes yeah, out yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe on like cable TV or whatever. But Right. Yeah, that's the thing. You got to go to HBO to get that kind of stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. So. This brings us to the end of Sleepaway Camp. However, we are going to go around the table and tell you whether or not we recommend that you watch it and have our own uh, thoughts on the movie. But first, we're going to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He's on, he's got his little short shorts on today, mm-hmm. and his crop top. Oh, oh we didn't off talk about legs. the fashion. And his aerated uh, t-shirt or whatever. I want all the Mesh. fashion in this movie to come Mesh back. Mesh shirt, yeah, all of it. Was it. lifting Mesh weights. Shirt. You gotta have the. Um, Oh, yeah, he's got that mesh like you had, Colin. Yeah, the sweat man. You got to bring those back. Colin was talking about his fashion choices back in the 80s uh, while we were watching this movie. Yeah, I remember some of them. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Others are fogged by drugs. That's right. Uh, But that was in the 90s. Uh, It was like 10 years old. Uh, Tom Lowry. Oh, first of all, uh, you can join in on this interactive portion of the Freak Show by following along and getting a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Tom Lowry. Sorry. Tom Lowy writes in and says, I listen to a lot of podcasts about cult and horror films. This is among the best. Thank you. Wow. Keep up the great work. And a word of note, I often listen to the podcast while watching the film discussed. It's like a film commentary. Nice. I appreciate that. Thanks. That's oh, awesome. awesome. That's cool. Thank I kind of want to try that with one of our episodes now. <laughs> It actually would work for the Sleepaway Camp one, too, because we Cause went we pretty chronological. Up. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, maybe that's why, because we take you gently through yeah. the film. But thank you for the kind words. <laughs> that's really nice. Very thank nice you. of you. Uh, so Dom Cree is back. No, hi, Welcome Dom. back, Dom. sir. Um, I mean, he never left me. He's always been. <laughs> he's, uh, he's like Patrick Swayze and Ghost. He's always here. Yeah, he's just <laughs> well, hanging around. He go says, to heaven, Tom. <laughs> Dom. Go to heaven. Go to he says, light. I wanted you guys to think that I was on strike until you watch Killer Workout. <laughs> I still love you guys. But enough with the good movies, though. We need some shocking dark stank in this We do place. not need shocking dark uh, Don't stank. challenge you Sean like that. that. You stop that. You just like dog whistle for Sean to make to a Dom bad anymore. pick. <laughs> Dom gets me in trouble. Well, That's see, right. he's, so he's, this is all about the, the, uh, the, the <laughs> listener week, Killer picks, Tongue. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was Killer Workout. Dave Forbes mm. is an advocate for Killer Tongue. He says, just tell me what I have and I'll, pl- or what I have to pledge and I'll do it. I even have the DVD I'll send you guys so I won't be you won't be out of pocket. We gotta see Killer Tongue, he says. Teresa Ann says, I admire the passion. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I love well, it. Well Teresa says, I'm gonna be severely disappointed if society isn't picked. You can take it up with your peers if it's not if it's you not guys really, picked. You guys pick. voted. Yep. I know, but that's the Nothing thing. Well, you know, Jimbo I says the last he says if the winner of next week's movie, if the movie I announce is not Shin Godzilla. Then I don't even know what this fan base is anymore. That's it's not that's the be. googly eye Godzilla. That's the googly eye Godzilla. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, oh, his man. eyes are crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, I kind of agree with you, dude. It's it's a good choice. <laughs> it is a good choice. Well, the, <laughs> the movie the, was pretty cool, actually. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The suspense, right? You wanted me to tell you before the show what what we were watching. This oh, is why knock we're it the off, yeah, Alan. Okay. It's not suspenseful. About uh, Sleepaway Camp, uh, Tina Fruholds says this movie is absolute gold and the baseball scene is the best out of it, all four movies. You know what? It's, that is a good baseball it's scene. A, it's like a, it's a total filler <laughs> scene, but it's and then it's interesting as hell. Like, and then they play flag football later. Yeah. There's lots of sports. And what? This movie's only like 80 some minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. Like They're really minutes. padding for time. Like, this, is, this is the camp movie where we do camp shit but for the, 88 But minutes. the baseball scene yeah. is actually really entertaining. <laughs> Eat shit and live. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, a, that's a good comeback. I was uh, expecting to see He's like, so calm about it, too. Yeah. I like love it. Ernest hey, man. driving his live. lawnmower in the background. <laughs> one of these shots would have been great. 
Well, Monty Montague says, I love this movie, and not just for the bad shit ending. I showed it to my wife last year, and it's actually become the inspiration for our own freak show like movie night with friends when she decided she needed to share this with everyone. Aw, that's awesome. That. It nice. is a good communal that's movie. Love. Yeah. So there you go. Not everybody apparently knows the ending. That's why I'm. That's like, awesome. Mm, so yeah, I'm glad that How there are does people it work there. You don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Whitaker says I only recently watched this one all the way through for the first time myself, and it's pure batshit insanity. Yeah. Second time batshit. So, uh, I've never even heard of the movie until Robot Chicken referenced it in an episode. <laughs> ah. Wow. Seeing all these picks for viewer month makes me think that I made the wrong choice. I didn't pick something insane. I just picked a classic horror movie that I noticed you guys didn't review. Well, here's the thing. We all have running lists. We yeah. take those things into consideration, put them on a list. There's no yeah, saying sure. it won't ever show up. But none of these have been on a list insane, somewhere. except for Jaws the Revenge, right? Right? The Fog and... Yeah. This? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Travis Legler says, you're in store for an ending that was a shock at the time, but now you kind of see it coming because that's what horror movies were always trying to do, the big shock. I always remember the sequel to this movie because of the poster VHS cover that lied to me. That's the one where she's an got amazing the backpack cover. full of like the Freddy Krueger knives mm. and the uh, the Jason mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It that never looks like. Happened, so. Yeah. It makes it look like she's going to like kick everyone's ass and be like the new bad bitch in horror is what it kind of implies. And that's not, yep. it is misleading. It's very misleading. Simon Carter says, essentially I couldn't work out what was weirder. The surprise wiener at the end of sleep wake camp or the badly superimposed head as in actual head, not ah, fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's is, a, that's high that tension can, yeah. that has that yeah. kind of head. Yeah. I don't think this is actually, it's not a superimposed head. It it's is a, a rubber mask. mask. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sculpt the mask. Both are disturbing. Yeah. yeah. It's all disturbing all the time. Dennis Peck says, just make sure you bring up the two killer theory. I don't want to spoil anything. Yes. So I'll just say there's a theory that there wasn't a lone gunman. Mm-hmm. Indeed. And someone helped. Mm-hmm. That's yes. right. Well, yep. I mean, we were talking about that with Ricky. Talk. Mm-hmm. This time around, it kind of felt that way. Okay. Uh, Chris Rudicus says, I await your thoughts on the fashions of Sleepaway <laughs> Camp. Uh, wonderful. Incredible. Absolutely. Bring them all back. The <laughs> crop tops, the shorts, the, shorts, the socks. I don't know. Yeah. Like, was there... Uh, is it just tighter on the legs, the elastic? How just dicks weren't hanging out? Yeah, in the, the short shorts of this movie, yeah, I don't there understand. might have been elastic. Was there elastic? Because in the, all in the, the shorts legs? were very short. It was yeah. only later because, like, I never like wearing shorts because they were so. I fucking mean, I, short. Guess, I assume when they're they wearing briefs, the right? Pants, shorts. I, I like, don't okay. know. I don't know with shorts that short. I don't know because some of those were like uh, think, underwear. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah you, you, they that, were. Open. How you make a good point? Why I thought nobody was wearing underwear? I think they're wearing underwear. They're That's wearing a good underwear. point. I don't know why I thought they weren't. Yeah, because they're open. You got air. I mean, we saw when they went to Skinny Dip. They're all wearing right. underwear G- that's got, not true dudes it's 2020 bring back crop tops if Johnny Depp can do it no. in a Nightmare no. on Elm Street what do you want do what do you want from this that's not a good look I'm, I'm, I, I'm, okay. I say right, do it totally. give it a shot give it a shot alright I'm talking to you bring crop then. tops back yeah, that's right. <laughs> if he's, he's he doesn't give a fuck all right, he, he wears right. one. He's got like you, six. Wait, 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 you, wait. Okay, he's married to me. Do you think he'd be surprised to hear I would say something like that? No. Uh, <laughs> does he own them? Uh, group Halloween costume next year. We dress as the camp counselors from this movie. <laughs> Colin can bring back his netted shirt. Yeah, nice. yeah. I like this okay. idea. <laughs> and can, I be, can I be Mel? I just want more hair. Yes. That's all. Be that'd, be, that'd be fine. Uh, Jacob Laws writes in and says, I saw this movie last year and it's really hard to ignore the inappropriate relationship between that old man and the girl that gets yes. stabbed in the shower. Yep. Yes. And we never yep. really understand no. why. Why? It's out of nowhere. It's gold digging is what my He's not is. rich. No. Hers. Oh, when she, he owns a like whole uh, you know do you see how shit is that that camping? lucrative did you see <laughs> not to mention was, there's only like 10 campers by the end of it he was able to just give the cook 50 bucks and the, all the other guys 15 dollars extra a well, week well I mean he is like, taking the salary of the one dude and <laughs> yeah cause he's like cover this no, shit up we don't want to I'm not rich you know I'm so. gonna do some head cannon and say she was like gunning for like a head counselor position and was like bang the boss get any job you want right she was Probably. gunning for head counselor wow. he was gunning for head <laughs> there yep. ching yeah. Well, Brent Zemecki calls this movie another total classic. Nick Siebel says, Sleepaway Camp, it's got a shcocking ending. 
<laughs> hey, you like that That's one. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Ryan boy. Handsome Jansen writes in and says, I had a friend of my wife's rave about this film for years and years. I watched it. The only thing I enjoyed was that bonkers reveal at the end. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So that's kind of fun. All right. We're jumping right over the fog, apparently. We're going to hold those comments for next week. Maybe. I don't know. Jaws the Revenge is the next up. Huh. Happy the baby New Year. <laughs> ah. the baby the baby, the baby. says uh, the, the plot baby. point about Papa Jacques the voodoo doctor who apparently six the shark uh, on the Brody family right. in Jaws 4 that plot point was maintained in the novelization really Jacob <laughs> Kotner says that shark man <laughs> yes it's a wonderful kind of yes <laughs> Uh, I Love to Dig says Michael Caine was in a period of starring in absolutely anything that was presented to him. Admittedly, Jaws the Revenge is an unquestionable disaster, but a quick scan of IMDb will Killer put bees. it in perspective with many other cringe inducing films. Killer Bees was like, that was in the 70s? I don't remember. I remember we j we just did a promo for it on my, oh, at my yeah. job. I'm just like, wow, he really had a period where he was just oh, doing yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah. He, he makes some good points, but I want to know what he likes to dig. Is right. it part of his job? I hope he's like a grave digger. Is yeah, he a grave I digger? Is, dig. He that digs nice. out. Is he a geologist? Cast. Like, what does he dig? I need to know. He may just be a serial killer. Or maybe he's an That's investigative true. reporter. Grant Parrish writes in. <laughs> That's the least interesting option, Colin. Right? And says Michael Caine is only a couple years away from Muppet Christmas Carol and permanent financial security. Yeah, that's true. Holiday movies make hella bank, yo. That's yeah, true. they do. That's why everybody wants to do them. Uh huh. Uh, Bill Hainer says he loves the fact that the portrait of Roy Scheider is looming in the background of several <laughs> shots in Amity and Jaws the Revenge. His expression looks like he's saying, I'm the smart one for turning down this POS. Good luck, suckers. <laughs> it's true. It feels like his eyes follow you, too. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, that's, that's a big photo. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for writing in. Thank, thank you. We appreciate that. We're fun doing it for bag. you. So, yeah, mm -hmm. write in. It's a we fun mailbag. Thanks, everyone. So, uh, Colin. <laughs> yeah, Sean. Uh, uh, what did you think about tonight's movie? Uh, Sleepaway Camp. Sleepaway Camp is a... Um, not a very good movie. I mean, uh, compared to like the burning, uh, right. I mean, Friday the 13th is the camp counselor slasher movie or camp slasher movie, summer mm -hmm. camp slasher movie, right? Mm -hmm. Sleepaway camp is probably the lesser of all of those three. It's amateurish in its writing. It's amateurish in its acting. It's amateurish in its direction. It's kills are not, uh, graphically gory. Really? I didn't think so. I mean, mm -hmm. say what you will about the uh, the the bee. Some of the skin effects were gross. Scenes. The, yeah. the burnt the skin was the, gross. The makeup's good, like the burning yeah, and yeah, the yeah. boils yeah, that are the, yeah, yeah, that right. are pulsing get, a little bit. The, uh, the dude get, did get a, a oh, arrow yeah, through the throat, about which him. was like yeah. kind of cool. It was cool because I didn't ripped know that scene off from Friday the Thirteenth. Yes, they did. Only you get to see what happens. Right. I guess in this one, um, the characters are just. I mean, I guess well, you know what Holly was saying. I. They do feel like real people. Uh -huh. That yes. I like about real it. Real people in a real place. The fact that they're unpleasant, all of them. It's like, this is kind of like Lord of the Flies or something. <laughs> where like, it's just kids on their own. They're all just awful. People. Even the little kids are assholes. Throwing sand on them when they're mm -hmm. going back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, you little monsters or whatever. Fuck you, <laughs> you cocksuckers. <laughs> this movie's or, good birth or, control. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But, uh, and again, like I said, when I saw it, I'm like, it didn't reflect, I think, the you know, the world of the playground that I knew at that time or whatever. It was like, this is New York. New York, New York people are fucking rough, <laughs> you know? Um, ultimately, the thing about Sleepaway Camp is that ending, right? Mm. I mean, this is an ending that uh, it was so shocking. I think it's still so shocking now mm -hmm. that, you know, like Michaela said, it exists in popular culture outside of the movie. Um, it's an ending. Like yeah, Sean this is said, like garbage it day. burns itself. No, this is, this is, this is something better than that. Right? It's better. Oh, better. There's something about the idea. And I think you were talking about it, the way that it like etches itself in your brain mm -hmm. because at the way that it ends, you know, with the still frame and all that stuff. Yeah. You, this is the power of a movie ending. Like, you can actually have a shitty movie with an awesome ending 
and the movie comes off as favorable in your mind. Mm-hmm. You can have like a movie with an awesome t- first 20 minutes with a shitty ending and everybody comes out of it going like, meh, eh, yeah. the movie is okay. Yeah, You're you right, end strong. You, kind of you end strong. You got, you got a great ending. This one's got a great ending. That is, I think, you know, uh, well, there's another movie. I don't want to say it in case you guys haven't seen it. So never mind. <laughs> But there are other movies that deal with the same kind of, uh, you know, psychosexual trauma and a a split personality, you know, serial killer. And you don't know who it is until, uh, you know, the end. Um, But that that's a pretty good, you know, whoever came up with this. And I assume it's I don't. Did he write it? Uh, Yeah, he wrote it. Okay. Um, Did he write that and like worked back from that idea? I don't know. But it it ends in in a way that's shocking. It's a strong image that ending uh and it redeems everything that came before it because you are going to remember sleepaway camp you know and like uh, you were saying it uh it, it's uh would you say it's the uh, it's like required reading yeah for the it horror is. Yeah. genre is it one of those that you have to see um so yeah, I'm gonna say uh, this is an abs. I you know apparently I don't own it. I thought I did, and uh, tonight yeah. we're like shit. I don't have my copy. I'm what did I do with it? I must have sold it because I really don't like everything that comes before it. But that ending, you have to see it. Sleepaway Camp, Holly. What'd you think? Um, yeah, I was actually really disappointed when the listeners picked this because this was supposed to be my first summer pick this year. <laughs> I wanted to oh, bring yeah. it. Yeah, I was really bummed. I thought about bringing it in November. I was like, no, I'm going to save it for summer. So I was actually really bummed that there it was picked. There are four sequels. No, Sean. <laughs> Just saying. We've already, we've no. already done one of them. So. We're not doing it. No. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think it's definitely required reading as far as the horror genre. I think... I'd be surprised anyone that loves horror hasn't seen this movie, but, um, you know, if it fell through the cracks for you or whatever, obviously I, I think you should see it. Um, I agree. The ending is just unbelievably memorable. Um, it, one of the most, I think it's one of the most memorable horror moments. I, I really do. Cause it just sticks in your mind forever. Um, it's just it's such a disturbing, unsettling end scene. It's, it, it just, uh, it just gets in there. Um, but everything before, I actually have fun with this movie. I think it's kind of, I, I agree with you. Everything is amateurish. It, it's not good. Um, but it's also like, you know, it's it's the type of not good that we love, that we like to, you know, we like to have fun with it. We like to make fun of it. You know, we laughed, I think, this whole movie, all of the crap, like, that, the, yeah, the shitty acting and like the cheesy writing. Like, we laughed a lot at this movie. It's, it's the kind of movie that we have fun with. Um, so I think it's enjoyable. There are a couple parts that do slow down quite a bit. Um, and there's not a lot of gore. There's not, you know, we don't get like the full on death scenes that we usually get. Um, that we usually prefer, but I think a lot of the makeup effects are really are, are really fun. They're really interesting. <laughs> they um, give us plenty of time to look at them. They, they do linger the, on them ah, for this, long shots. The screaming burned pervert. He's laid there screaming for like yeah. what a they minute and a half. I think he's yeah. worse. Time. Yeah, well, he, and he's times. worse in a couple shots. But like as they're showing him, like his little his boils are like pulsating. Yeah. Like it's gross. I think there's some really great makeup in this. that's really effective. Um, yeah, I think I think it's. There's there's a reason that this movie is is so classic in the horror genre. I definitely think everyone should watch it for sure. Michaela. So this movie is like really weird and quirky and feels like at times like these characters are like characters John Waters threw in the garbage, you know? <laughs> um, and that's exactly why you should watch it. Like it's yeah. it's, it's a weird, weird yeah. movie. Uh, the acting choices made by some people or, you know, just line, not even acting, because I don't even know if you can call what some of these people are doing <laughs> acting, but... They showed up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. This is a um, a time capsule moment. There won't ever be another movie like this. It's the only movie that's ever going to be like this. So, I mean, you got, it's, it's like part of your, like, historical bookkeeping to watch this, right? So, you got to watch it. I mean, there's there's so many reasons to watch it. Obviously, the ending, but I think everything that comes before that is like a spectacle that's fun to watch too. Yeah, sure. And the fashion is incredible. <laughs> Once you think you've seen it all, something new shows up in the scene, and you're like, "Wow, that was a trend at some point. Cool." So bring it all back. Mm-hmm. I'll buy it all. Sleepaway Camp, gotta watch it, Sean. Uh, this movie is. <sighs> There are probably uh, more exciting movies, uh, more inventive movies, um, but this movie kind of feels like the distillation of like the perfect 
perfect type of this movie. It's the it it, it is it hits the sweet spot in, in it's nineteen eighty three. It's a slasher movie. It's at a camp. It, it's got the it's got the style. Um, it's got the uh, the story, the ending. I, I if, if it's it's like the uh, it's like the ultimate version of this. I, I mean, we said it before, and we've gone around the table. Like it is. Um, I wasn't thrilled by watching it tonight, but that's because I know it so mostly so well, and I've seen it enough times where it, um, it is. It's just it's a building block of horror from this time. Um, so much was built off of like I mean Friday the Thirteenth and a bunch of those. But to me, this feels like one of the key movies that gives us all the stuff we have now. It's an influencer. I think it really, it is. really is. Um and I don't think you can you can't do anything that is going to be like the ending of this movie anymore. Um truly was when I saw it truly shocking. Um and like we said, disturbing and you'll never forget that image. I mean, you can't uh you can't not recommend a movie that will do that to you. Um it's uh, it's pretty incredible. Um uh you, you have to watch this movie. There's no way you can continue on with your life without having watched this right now. So, <laughs> so, so basically, finish this podcast or die. Uh, <laughs> Is what you're yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you have to watch it. It's sleepaway camp. It's 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 a definitive thing. Um, yeah, definitely watch it. Have to. Right, have to. It's almost it's like, uh, like we had to go through a whole podcast. Do this. Like you have to. It's sleepaway camp. <laughs> so that's freak show recommended. Then that's yeah. all for. For Sleepaway Stamp Camp, which means approval. that you chose uh, well, I suppose. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which means that you chose the final movie that we're going to watch next week. Oh, Everybody's boy. In. Now I have no idea. The number oh, one. I, I thought I, I knew what it was. I, feel I have pretty no confident idea anymore. What it is. Do you just one. want me to show you the, the, the results, the total, to find out what the top one is? There should, should be. I? You should have an Oscars envelope yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. He, what are you talking about, Sean? He does have one. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't read. What is it? Really? Really? I'm Creep Show. All right. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right so there you go. Wow. You have chosen Creep wow. Show with George Romero and Stephen King. Got Fascinating. Together, made a little baby, and it was Creep Show. Maybe it's because of the, the show? TV show. Uh, probably. Or something. Yeah. So we're going to be watching Creep Show on Unexpected. next week's Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, we hope you'll join us. Please do. And the basement is going dark.